Welcome back, everybody. This is Peter with Plumbing Express. I'm here with Brian today, getting the chance to talk a little bit about uh, ream water heaters. And uh, specifically, we're talking about something that really is coming to kind of a head right now because they've passed some legislation, right, that uh, is really limiting energy-wise what size heaters we can have, right? Correct. Okay. So tell me, I mean, you don't have to get the nuts and bolts of it because I'm not really that interested in it, and it's my trade, but I don't need to know what the government is really doing exactly because the truth is I can't affect it. But I understand because of just sizing the heater, insulation, you just can't get energy efficiency ratings. Is that what it is? Correct. And they're not letting us make anything bigger than a 50 gallon water heater for residential. Okay. So, I mean, obviously, uh, I mean, I know I've heard this from customers. Well, I talked to somebody and I, they said I can get one, but it's going to be a commercial one. I mean, I know at least on reams, that really affects the warranty a lot and stuff as well. I don't think it's just you guys. I would think it's pretty much across the yeah, board. It's across the board, and, it's, and it, it does affect the warranty. It doesn't give you as long as a warranty because it is considered a commercial product. Right. Um, usually residential products have a much better warranty than a commercial because of the use itself. Yeah, and I know I've definitely heard from some of our inspectors around here as well that since this is a law that they're trying to make certain it is being followed, they're getting really, uh, really tight on not letting commercial products go into a residential application. So, so this is something really that you guys have come up with. I mean, you guys obviously are a multifaceted company. You guys have tank water heaters, you guys have gas tankless water heaters, and you guys have electric tankless water heaters. And this seems kind of like an extension of taking an electric tankless and buddying it up with a tank Correct. to really give us back what we are having capacity wise in some of these larger units. Correct. Uh, now, I think also too, if I read on this one, this is, it works great with electric, but actually if you get the electrical to a gas water here, you can use it there as well, right? Yes, yeah, we use both on electric. It's the easier setup with electric, but yes, it can be right. used both gas and electric. Too. So how does, just the gist of it, how does it basically work? So uh, normally on a water heater, as the, uh, as the water's coming out of the, you're using your hot water, the temperature of the water kind of depletes. And eventually it starts getting cooler and cooler and cooler until you just, there's not enough hot water. So this unit sits on top of the water heater and it starts, as soon as the water turns on, it starts to monitor that water coming out of the tank. Once it starts dropping temperature a little bit, this kicks on, turns the water heater off, this kicks on and starts boosting that water up to the original temperature that you wanted. Um, as the water gets, keeps getting cooler, this keeps boosting and boosting and, uh, and just gives you a longer, uh, a longer amount of hot water. So it turns a 40 into a 50, it uh, turns a 50 into an 80, it turns an 80 into a 120. Great. Yeah. So I, I totally can get what you're saying though, as far as, like I said, boosting the capacity of that, because it isn't just about the fact that you've got, you know, 50 gallons of hot water in there, because as plumbers, we know that truthfully, even though you have 50 gallons of hot water in there, you don't even get truthfully 50 gallons of hot water right. out of that 50 gallon heater, because as it starts to run down, you're filling it back with cold, it's starting to actually mix that water down. Correct. So the nice thing about this booster then is as it senses that, it's actually going to help boost that temperature back up again yes. and, and have that give you back that capacity that you're losing now that we're not having the ability to put those bigger units in. Correct. And, and for example, uh, a 40 gallon shower or a 40, 40 gallon water heater uh, with a 1.5 gallon uh, shower head usually can last about 27 minutes. This unit will let it last about 51 minutes. So you're almost doubling the time. Well, that's great. I mean, that's almost long enough to handle like my daughter taking a shower. <laughs> right. Exactly. You know, he's got long hair, right. teenage girl, takes quite some time. So right. that would mean, that would be, it'd be good. That means I would actually maybe be able to have a hot shower at the end of all that. Exactly. Okay. Yes. Well, that would be great. And so really, like I said, this is kind of an extension. It's almost, I think this is 30 amps. So it's almost like a 30 amp tankless electric budding up with that tank. Correct. A gas Correct. or electric. Uh, to be able to extend that. So exactly. now I know you brought up that, you know, it needs, to, it could get hooked right to the top, but actually you could also mount this off to the side and pipe to it, correct? Correct. Okay. Yes. So either, either it can just literally screw it on the top of the uh, heater itself, but you can mount it to a wall next to it. That's so nice. So you get the shorter heaters or you're not enough space, this can mount and you'll still get that, uh, that extended water. And that's great because down here in Florida, we have a ton of condos and there is not a lot of room in those. And, you know, sometimes you might have been, you know, I had a 40 gallon before and you might be going to a 30 because of increase in uh, insulation size and stuff right. like that. So even where it's not a matter of you're losing your 80 and having to go down to a 50, maybe you actually just have, you had a 40, now you're at a 30, or maybe you only have room for a 30 and you wanna to try to boost it as well. Exactly. This is another good application for that. We just would need to be able to have the room or you would need to be able to have the room to just get it situated. Maybe it might be in a closet nearby, you maybe just pipe through the wall. Again, it just depends on the application, but you have a product that'll service them for that. So, Correct. and so, 
it seems like, you know, we've got obviously the plumbing aspect, we've got a little bit of electrical, but that really is for the most part what needs to happen and they have that increased capacity available to them. Correct, and this can actually help you save money as well because it has a couple different modes on it. It has vacation mode, so it's a, it's a setting that goes on to the system. You would have to turn it on and off, but what it'll do is uh, when it's in vacation mode, it literally just turns off your water heater. Uh, your water heater has a tendency to, um, to, to kick on every once in a while, mm -hmm. whether you use it or not, just because there's standby um, heat loss from the tank itself. This is gonna monitor it the whole time as long as that water doesn't drop below 60 degrees, uh, it's never going to let your water heater turn on. So you're never using that, that energy, and it's, uh, it's saving you money. If it does drop below 60 degrees, it's going to kick on an element and pre pretty much prevent it from freezing. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there's also eco mode, which is a second mode on here. And uh, it, it will also work with the, the freeze protection as well. But you can actually keep your water heater off the entire day. Um, maybe you take showers in the morning, and uh, you can have this kick on in the morning. Um, you heat up your tank, monitor your tank, but then it can literally turn off your tank for the rest of the day because you may not use 50 gallons of hot water throughout the day. Right. You may just wash your hands or do the dishes or something like that um, where you don't need that tank kicking on you know, three or four times a day. So it can actually save you a bunch of money as well. Well, that seems to me like it kind of takes the place of the old gray box that we used to see then. Exactly. Uh, you know, a lot of times you'd see, and it was literally called the gray box. They're still out there and it just has little timer settings and stuff like that. And there, this seems like that would actually even take the place of that, Correct. but still give you the same benefit where instead of that continual cycle of just a little draw of energy on and off throughout the course of the day, it just eliminates that and smooths it out for right. you so that you're really only seeing it that one run. So right. you know, when you need it, which, mm -hmm really is the goal we have of so much of stuff that we use anymore nowadays is to try to just do it where it's on demand. So whether it's an electric tankless, a gas tankless, you know, that truly is on demand in that sense. But even with the way we're doing the tank water heaters, you know, it's, it's a goal, of course, to try to make it as efficient as possible. That's where these guidelines come from. Correct. To try to make it so that we are using the least amount of energy to heat the most or the needed amount of water as possible. So... Brian, I really appreciate you going over that with us so that way we, we could learn a little bit more about Reams' product. Sure. Uh, I think it see, seems like it's going to be a great product. We know I know we put several of them in, and so far the customers have really liked them. So, again, this is Plumbing Express. Just going over some technical stuff with you guys, getting a chance for you guys to see some new products that are coming up out there, products that we have already installed and really enjoy, along with a company that we really uh, think highly of and know that they, they stand behind the customer as well. So this is Peter with Plumbing Express signing off. Look forward to seeing you next time we uh, do a video.